Welcome to Tech Eclipser channel. Today we are going to talk about system for organizing digital life called Para. Topic we would be covering is what is Para? Implementing Para using Microsoft OneNote, Outlook and Microsoft ToDo. Before we talk about Para, it is important to get some background about second brain and the code method. What is second brain? Nowadays we consume lot of information and not everything can be kept in mind. We can store notes, observation in digital form which we call our second brain. We will use the code method for managing the data. Code stands for capture, organize, distill, express. Capture, keep what resonate. That is capture the data which add value to our life. Organize, save for actionability. Instead of focus on organizing the data, we should focus on taking action using the data. Distill, find the essence. Find the summary and the meaningful information from the captured data. Press, show your work, share your knowledge. Para is an information management system developed by Tiago Forte and the same has been explained in his book called Building Second Brain and the Para Method. With Para, every piece of information you want to save can be placed into one of the just four categories. Projects, Area, Resources, Archives. Projects are the short term effort in your work, example writing a new blog post, planning for vacation. Areas are long term responsibilities like finance, monthly utility bill payment. Resources are any topic of interest like book reading, information about latest technologies. Archive is basically inactive items from the projects and uh, projects area and resources. Today we are going to see a para implementation using Microsoft OneNote Outlook and Microsoft ToDo. For more such videos, please do subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Now we'll open OneNote. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll create a notebook. Uh, we'll name it as Para. Click on create notebook. We will not be sharing this notebook, so we will select not now. Now we will add the section for inbox, uh, which would basically be the default section for any incoming uh, data. And then we will create a four section name project, areas, resource and archive. While creating the para folders, we will have uh, numbers prefixed with like project will have one, two will have archive, three with for resource and four for archive. Just to make sure that when we sort them, I think those are sorted based on the, the naming convention like para. Uh, we can change the section color according to our preference. Uh, on the layout, there is a two option like vertical and horizontal. So in the horizontal, you will see something like this. And if you want to change the layout for that, you can go to display uh, and then select this options. For now, we'll go with the vertical. Uh, there is one option like when we search something in the notebook, we can search the default properties to search across all the notebooks. We have done that. Now we'll basically create pages uh, for one of the demo. So these are the pages uh, which we can create. We can create a number of pages for this particular uh, demo. We are going to create one page like one page name para using OneNote out outlook and to do 
and we are going to add sub page under that to add sub page i think we can just drag create a page and and just move it uh, toward the right side So here we have created four sub pages: one for OneNote, one for Outlook, one for To Do, and one for Demo section. Now we'll add a checklist items which we'll follow for each of the sub page. So in the demo, what we are going to do, we are going to create a, a OneNote item, uh, basically Outlook item. In Outlook, we'll go and we'll change the priority, and the same will automatically get reflected into To Do app. And in the To Do app, we'll change the status, and that status will get reflected back to uh, OneNote. So that's what we are going to demo. So now we have created uh, pages and a, a task under it. Now we'll basically create a Outlook task. We can do it at a sub item level or we can do it at a page level. For this particular demo, we'll be doing it at a page level. So we have done it for OneNote. We'll do it for Outlook. Now we'll do it for To Do. So as you can see, we can do the out create Outlook task even at the inside the page for any particular item. But for the demo, I think we are going to focus on the page level to do task. Now the tasks are created. Now we'll open the Outlook and we can see those uh, Outlook tasks uh, in our Outlook. Yeah, you can see this. We can open those and here uh, we can basically change the priority. Uh, if you set the priority as normal, then I think it will create as a normal to do task. If you set the priority as high, priority will be changed accordingly. Now we have like done with the Outlook update. Now if we go to the to do, uh, we can see those items which we created here. So to, you can see there are two sections, the important section and the my day section. My day section basically uh, refers to the task which are like due for the particular date and important basically refers to the, the, the highest priority item. Now if you click basically mark this particular task as completed then we should see the status getting updated in the outlook. Now if you go to OneNote it will get updated. It might take some time so we will have to wait for a minute or so. Now this are updated. This was the end to end demo using 
uh, outlook one note and to do uh, for para thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos